I grew up in Nigeria, in a city called Kano. It was uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I can remember it like it was yesterday. It was 7th Street and Camelback. My whole life spent it there, and it was beautiful, green. I remember sitting outside every night thinking there should be something better than the small community that I'm in. Um, I didn't know we were broke or poor or whatever you want to call it until one day we were playing at the, at the amusement park and my mom and I wanted to play some more and my mom said we don't have the money for that and that's when it hit me that we don't have as much as other people do and that's the moment I realized I want more I want to see my mom happy I don't want her to work two jobs it was a point where my mom and, and dad they took us to the grocery store that day to go and uh, not buy food like a regular family would but we actually went there to panhandle to actually beg for money. Remember a guy giving us $100? I thought we were gonna get like, you know, we're gonna have food in the fridge and the cabinet. And uh, you know, I get home, you know, the house is a wreck. I remember opening up the fridge and I can never, you know, forget that day when I opened it up and there was nothing in there. And you know, I was thinking to myself, you know, at that moment, I was like, you know, mom, dad, you know, you guys promised this time that you're gonna buy food for the house. I remember just sitting on the ground and, uh, you know, st you're just starving. They said, you don't think like we do. You, you know, everybody's thinking, how many kids am I going to have? And, you know, where am I going to live? I was thinking, I want to be like Tony Robbins and Les Brown. That's who I want to be like. Then, moved here about six years ago to Canada. My first job was door-to-door -door selling knives. <laughs> <laughs> because we were so hungry to do stuff and I was doing doing really well and then he calls me uh, on Facebook we meet on Facebook and he says well if you're doing door-to-door -door, why don't you try network marketing I, I was so excited I said I can do this I can do this from home I can make money without having to travel back and forth I quit my job right away there door-to-door <laughs> -door. even before I sold my jewelry to get in I, I had no money and then I, I realized hey this is there is a better way you know there is something out there that is helping people and it just changed for me right there and then. You know we're so thankful too because you know it's not just us it's our team you know people all over the world you know that are making those you know type of incomes and that's how we got to the ability to make the type of income that we're making. I just see that it's the ability for somebody to go out there and get the lowest cost of entry to start your own business to find out uh, what you really have inside of you. It gives anybody the ability or a chance to go out there and make a type of income, but not just the income. It's not just money here. It's really the freedom you get with it. And you know, in network marketing, when you win, it's because your team is winning. We, it felt so good to get paid what you're worth. It, it, it felt so good because we worked so hard. I am Amani Zane McDermott. I am a leader, I am a mom, I am a mentor, and I am a network marketing professional. I am Joseph McDermott. I am a leader. I am a motivator, I am a husband, and I'm a network marketing professional. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional and decide to go pro. Because it's a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now, now let's, let's go, go tell, tell the, the world. world.